Hi everyone, it's Dawn. Welcome back to my channel. It is Monday and I hope that you all had a really nice weekend. I had a nice weekend. We had to do a lot of swim team stuff with my boys. They're both swimmers in high school and they just had their sectional meet. So that's really exciting. They have like sectional, then conference, and then they decide if they're going to make it to state. And my eldest son is a senior and my youngest son is a junior. So they're both like varsity swimmers and it could be the very last swimming that my eldest does because he doesn't want to swim in college and he's been swimming since he was in diapers. I remember I would have to put those little swim diapers on him just to go to his lessons. So he has been like a lifelong swimmer and um, it's a little bit bittersweet but he doesn't want to swim in college and that's just want to pursue some other things and my youngest son is doing great and we'll see what happens if they end up going to state or not and when the swim season ends for him he likes to play water polo so his water polo will start and um so yeah just some time with my sons and their activities and that was really fun um, I hope that you had a fun weekend. Let me know down in the comments what you did and how your weekend was and just how you're doing. I love interacting with you. So I haven't done a monthly favorites video since like November and this really isn't a monthly favorites video since it is the very beginning of February. I guess it kind of is. Things I've been loving in January but um it's a lot of things that I've already had in my collection. I do have some new things included, just a few. Um, and I do have some new products that I got for Christmas and my birthday and my anniversary, which falls like just a few weeks from each other in December, in the beginning of January. But the makeup products and things I want to share with you, I'll like... I'd rather do like a get ready with me or something like that. So you can watch for those coming up. But I'm just going to jump in and share with you some things that I've been really loving from my own collection, things that I've been trying to use up, or just some information that I want to share with you because there are deals that you can take advantage of and so on. So let's just jump in and get started. Okay, the first thing I want to share with you is a clothing item, and it is some athletic wear from Beyond Yoga. I've never ordered from Beyond Yoga before, and they have like really nice athletic wear, I was told. I usually purchase a lot of like my nicer athletic wear from Athleta just because I have an Athleta store near my house and um, I like their athletic wear. But Beyond Yoga is on par with Athleta price-wise and quality-wise. And I got a set for Christmas from Beyond Yoga and you can still find some of these pieces in this color, but it is a limited edition color, but they still have all the pieces both of the pieces in different colors and they have some really pretty spring things out right now. So the first mm -hmm. thing is just a tank top and it looks like this. And I have worn it and washed it several times. So it's not brand spanking new. And this is like a heathered material. I think they call it space dye when it's like this. And this is in like an evergreen color and I really like it. It's super comfortable to wear. It's got the Lotus logo in the back for Beyond Yoga. And then they have like a built-in bra and it doesn't have removable modesty cups. There are no cups in it whatsoever, but it is a thicker material. So you don't have to worry about, um, you know, feeling like you're too exposed. I don't like modesty cups when they come with this kind of top because as I feel like they get all twisted and bunched up. You have to remove them when you wash and then reinsert them. And I just don't like dealing with it. But the shelf bra in here is really good and it just kind of holds me in and this top is super comfortable. So I got this top and I got the matching pants. And they are the 7-8 length, which is the full length. So they go all the way down to the ends of my ankles. 
and they are very high waisted. So they go up like right above my belly button and they have a lot of compression, yet they're very, very soft and comfortable. So when I have them on, the top lays very flat and nicely against the pants and it looks like it's all one piece even though it's not it just lays so nice and smoothly and it does have these side pockets which i never use for anything there are not pockets you know sometimes there's a pocket at the top a zipper pocket it does not have that they do have pants that do have that but these don't and i don't mind because i don't really use the pockets anyways so i'm really enjoying this set and i have like a big like soft ugg cardigan that i got for christmas and it's like this really kind of creamy white color and i like to wear that on top of it and it just lays very nicely and for athletic wear you can wear it just every day for athleisure it just looks very flattering on and i'm really impressed with the quality of beyond yoga i will link the pieces that i have but they might not be in the color i have since they are a limited edition you can purchase them on the beyond yoga website and also i know nordstrom carries beyond yoga i was on the beyond yoga website recently and they have such cute spring things out right now so it's a good time to kind of pick up some pieces that are really cute for your athleisure collection if you're needing anything like that. Okay, the next thing is from the brand Longchamp. And if you're not familiar with Longchamp, it is a French luxury brand and their bags are incredibly popular, especially the Longchamp La Pliage totes and luggage and backpacks and so on. My daughters love the backpacks. They loved them in college and they still like them. I like the large totes, but they also have a medium tote, which is more of a purse size. They're very nice. They're very thick, kind of um, nylon, almost like a canvassy material that's very easy to clean. And it's super durable too. So I've never had a bag rip on me or look shoddy when I was done using it. My daughters have because they are incredibly brutal on their bags and they don't clean them <laughs> between, like if something gets on them, they don't really care. I clean my bags right away if I notice that they look dirty, but I've never had a problem. And I own several of the Longchamp La Pliage totes in various sizes. And so they did release a new cosmetics pouch and they discontinued their old cosmetics pouches and i was watching some videos about them because i really wanted to purchase a cosmetics pouch to match one of my bags or potentially all my bags down the line um, so i was watching some people review and compare the new cosmetics pouch to the old ones and i really fell in love with the new cosmetics pouches and i'm going to show you why um, it's like not just because it's a really good cosmetics pouch, but because it's a multi-use item. And so I had to select one of my bags that I wanted to match my pouch to because I have the Long Chump La Pliage totes in many different colors. So I had to select one. So I decided to go with navy. And this is my Long Chump La Pliage navy tote. And I've had this for a really long time. And I have a whole collection of these in various sizes. Like I said, if you'd like to see that and know more about the totes, I can do that for you. So just let me know down in the comments. But if you ever go to an airport anywhere in the world, if you ever go on a college campus anywhere in the world, or even Kate Middleton carries one of these, they're just very, very popular and they're luxurious, but they're affordable. So the large tote is like $150 and you will have it for a super long time. And part of the appeal is that they fold up into like a tiny square and they flatten out and you can pack them. So if you're going on vacation and you wanna bring more than one color, they're super easy to pack. And again, if you'd like to see that, I could show that to you in a different video. But I had to select a cosmetics pouch to match my navy tote. So obviously I chose navy. And this is what it looks like. It's different than the old cosmetics pouch. But the reviews I've seen is that it's the same size. So it's like six inches across 
four inches in height and two inches in width and or diameter and it looks exactly like my purse but tiny and what i like about it is that it has this handle on one side and then it still has the flap like the purse does and that's new i don't think the old cosmetics pouch had that and then it's got the zipper that goes through across the whole length just like the purse the little leather flaps on the side. It doesn't have any pockets on the inside except one big space, but that's fine. And so I can fit a lot in here. I have everything that I need in here and I still have a lot of space. But the appeal of this is that one of the reviewers that I saw uses this as a clutch because it's just like a tiny little bag and your phone will fit inside of this. I have the third the iPhone 13 X Max Plus, which is the largest, and I'm filming on it so I can't show you, but it fits perfectly inside here with a lot more space for other things. So if you wanted to put a little card holder with your credit cards and things like that in here, your keys, a lipstick, whatever you need for an evening, this will make a really nice clutch too. And what I like is that I can carry my big bag and then if I don't feel like bringing this whole thing in somewhere, I could just take my essentials out and put it in the clutch and I'm good to go. So I'm just in love with this little thing and I'm so excited to finally have gotten one. If you have any questions, ask down in the comment section, but I wanted to share this with you and let you know just how great it is and that it can be used not just as a cosmetics pouch, but as like an everyday clutch. And you know, it fits on your arm or you can carry it as a handheld. I just think it's a great addition to the Long Chomp La Pliage collection. So we're planning on going on spring break at the end of March and I'm super excited. So I'm always like starting to kind of self tan a little bit starting about now just to kind of get my winter skin looking a little bit better. I really neglect self tanning in the winter months. I just pretty much don't do it at all. So I've been starting very slowly, but I really wanted to try this one from Tarte and it's the Brazilians Plus Self Tanner. And it looks like this and it does come with a mitt like, like so, it comes in a box like that. And I did write down some notes about it because it has some good ingredients in it. It's infused with squalene and aloe and other moisturizing ingredients. And it also has some citric acid in the formula to help kind of gently exfoliate your skin. So it is considered a skin prep and a self tanner in one. And I really like it a lot. And Tarte trademarked some technology. I think it's called pure shield scent control technology so that the scent does not change once you apply it. It doesn't like start to smell like, I don't know. I always think that self tanners smell a little bit like a Frito chip. If you obviously have smelled those before, I feel like that's how they smell a lot of times, but this does have a scent and I can't put my finger on what the scent is. It's pleasant and I like it, but the best description that I can come up with is a snickerdoodle cookie. It sort of smells like some a baked good, and the best guess for me would be a snickerdoodle. If you've tried it and you can describe the scent, please do so because you are probably better at it than I am but it isn't offensive and it's very light, but it's definitely there and it doesn't change, but it does dissipate. So once you apply the tanner, it smells good and it lingers just for a little bit, but after a little while, you won't smell it at all and neither will anyone else. Um, and it does have a color guard in it, so it does go on your skin, like a little bit brownish green and i like that it has that little bit of a green tint because i feel like brands that add that little bit of a green tint look the most natural they look less orangey in my opinion so i've been very pleased with the color that this delivers to my very pasty skin and i have used it on this side of the mitt 
and I haven't washed this mitt since I started using it, but it does have a plasticky kind of lining. So when your hand is in the mitt and you're applying the tanner, it won't come off onto your hand, which is really nice. And it's a very nice microfiber type mitt. And so this is what I've been using and really loving, and I have no problems with it. And I wanted to recommend it to all of you if you're looking for a good self tanner to start off like your spring and summer months, especially if you're going to be going to a beach vacation or something like that for spring break. So really enjoy this. Okay, the next product I wanna share with you is something that I probably should have shared with you at the end of fall, but I wasn't doing a lot of monthly favorites videos and I couldn't find a place to really include it, but I wanna tell you about it now. And I'm a little bit late to the game because this has been around for a couple of years and it's from Kat Von D and she just released another foundation. So I'm reviewing for you or telling you about the older one. And this is the Good Apple Foundation Balm from Kat Von D. And she just released this foundation in a liquid formula. I purchased this after I watched Angie Hot and Flashy review it. And if you watch Angie's foundation reviews, in my opinion, you can't find better foundation reviews anywhere. And she is so thorough and I really wanted to try it after I watched her review, which again is probably a year old. I can find it and link it in the description box in case you wanna see a good review of this. But let me just tell you a little bit about the foundation. So this is the Good Apple Foundation Balm from Kat Von D and it's described as a full coverage, fresh matte finish foundation. It comes in 40 shades. It does have apple extract in it. So it does have apple in the formula. That's why it's called Good Apple. I have heard it smells like apples, but I can't smell it. Not once have I opened this and thought it smelled like apples, but apparently it does smell a little like apples. To me, it smells like nothing. So if it does smell like apples, it's so faint that I can't detect it. And this is such a beautiful foundation. It's meant for people with balanced to dry skin. And I have combo oily skin, and I typically don't like balm foundations. I return them all the time whenever I try them. The recent one that I tried was from Stila when she first released the um, balm foundation. It's a light coverage balm foundation and it felt so heavy and smothering on my skin. I took it right back. I couldn't, I couldn't stand the way it felt on my skin. This feels like the Maybelline Mousse Foundation. If you've ever tried that, it comes in a little pot and it's moussey. Um, it doesn't look like a mousse, but it feels like that to me. It feels like a mousse and not really a balm, but it is hydrating and it leaves my skin looking, I think, just really, really pretty. And it covers a lot, but it never feels heavy. And you can decide how much coverage you get by basically just putting a little on your skin and then blending it out. You can make a full coverage, a light coverage. And um, I usually make it more of a medium coverage, but you can just go all in and have a full coverage. It applies beautifully with a damp sponge, which is my preference, but it also applies beautifully with a brush. I've tried it both ways and I like it both ways. And I am so happy with this foundation. I don't think I've been as happy with a foundation that comes in like a like kind of like a pan type foundation or a stick foundation since I tried the Lancome Tint I Doll stick foundation, which is another one I really like, but I like this one even more. So I would really recommend this. I mean, what do you have to lose? You get it from Ulta or Sephora and both of those stores allow you to return things very easily if you don't like them or Nordstrom, same thing. So you really don't have anything to lose. And I think a lot of you will really, really like this a lot. I think it's the prettiest foundation that I have in my collection. And I now have two of them, one for my vanity and one for my little mini long chump cosmetics bag. Um, because it works as a concealer and it works as a foundation. And I'm just so happy I finally tried it. Of course, I'm late to the party like always. I'm sharing this with you right when she releases another one in a liquid form. And I haven't heard any reviews on that one yet. 
but I'm pleased with this one. I don't think I'm going to try the other one. So wanted to share this with you. Okay, the next couple of things are items that I already have in my collection and really, really love and I've been using all the time. And this is not new to the market, just like the foundation wasn't. But this is the Khaki Haze Palette from Huda Beauty. And I got this palette when these first came out and I decided to start like really paying attention to this palette because I like it so much and I wanted to like make a dent in it and I'm so happy that I've been using it because I can get so many looks. I can get like kind of a, a peachy pinky glowy look or I can get more of a khaki look. There's just enough of the beautiful shimmers and metallic shades that Huda is so known for but there's enough mattes and they're very creamy and easy to blend and they're just so, so pretty. And so I've been using this so much. When I haven't been filming, I've been going to this nearly every day. That, this and another palette and I'll show you that one next. Um, and I do have this one on today and I didn't use any of the khaki shades. I used a plummy shade and some of the kind of corally pink shades. And again, you've got like this really pretty plummy shade in here. So even though it's a khaki palette, it's really also peachy, plummy, pinky too. I just love this palette so much. And um, I'm really happy that I decided to really start paying attention to it because I actually get a lot of compliments on my eye makeup when I use this palette. So I wanted to share that. And I also wanted to share with you the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eyeliner. Again, late to the game. You guys have probably all already tried this, but I love this product. And it's in the shade Mildew. And I need to get this in some other shades. That's what it looks like. And I just tight lined with this in my upper lash line and in my waterline and then did a little flick for a wing and it's so pretty with so many palettes that I have. It's really pretty with the Khaki Haze palette and I also have the Urban Decay Wild Greens palette and it looks really pretty with this one too. And I just wanted to let all of you know if you have a TJ Maxx or Marshalls, I've seen this there for $16. I got mine when it first came out and I paid the full price. So I want you guys to be able to get it on sale if you'd like to try it. It's got some beautiful greens in here. Greens are so beautiful when they're paired with like corals and peachy pinks. And this is another palette that is kind of like that. But this one's slightly more... You can get a few like pastel looks with this one. So this one is a little more like deeper and more mysterious where this one has more um, kind of everyday fun looks that you can get from it. And I'm really happy to have this palette too. So I've been paying a lot of attention to this palette recently and I've been using the heck out of this. I've recently had to sharpen it a lot. It's getting a lot smaller. It's big. So for the price, you get a lot of product and it'll last a long time. Okay, this is a repurchase because I used up the other one that I purchased about 18 months ago. And this is from Anastasia and it's the Italian Summer Palette. And I've done a video with this in the past where I used this whole palette just for my entire face, my eye makeup and everything. Um, I can do that for you again if you'd like to see it. And so this is the palette I go to when I want to get out the door really fast and I don't want a fussy makeup look, but I want a really complete makeup look. And it's so beautiful. I love the shade of the bronzer. It's perfect for my fair skin. This palette does come in I think one or two deeper shades. This is the lightest one. So if you aren't as fair as I am and you need a deeper bronzer or blush, um, don't despair that <laughs> it comes in other shades. So this is just like a really good, soft, creamy blendable bronzer and I really hit pan and there was just a little bit around the edges so I gave it to my daughter Paulina because she wanted to use it up and I said just take it she would use it whenever she would come home so I'm, I was worried it was going to crack and kind of spill in my my drawer set that I have so I gave it to her and it did have still a lot of this highlighter in it but the highlighter is really pretty as well it's super pretty. It's not the same as the iced out highlighter that 
Anastasia is really popular for. I have that highlighter too. This one's just a little more like champagne-y where the iced out highlighter has a lot of gold tones in it. Um, and then you have this cantaloupe shade blush that's so pretty. And I have that on today. I actually bronzed, highlighted, and used this as my blush. And then I used the Khaki Haze palette for my eyeshadow. And I really like the look a lot. So this is a new repeat purchase. I was going back and forth between the, Sm the Smashbox Cali Contour Palette for a face palette, and that one's pretty too, but I liked this one a little bit more, so I repurchased it. And then I have one more thing that I used up. This is pretty much empty, and I am going to repurchase it for the summer. And this is from Lancome, and it's the Effersons Waterproof concealer and this is such a pretty concealer it dries to like a matte but definitely not a flat matte it's super high quality like Lancome's foundations and and complexion products are and it's waterproof so if you're skiing in the winter time or swimming or boating or something in the summertime it really stays in place I just like it even for everyday use because I feel like I have some fine lines and wrinkles around my eyes and it never gathers up in my fine lines and wrinkles, but it gives me some really good coverage. This is just about out and I am gonna repurchase it. So I wanted to tell you guys about that. So I think I'm gonna end here because I don't want this video to be too long. I am going today for the first time in over a year to get my lip filler topped off. I had Juvederm Fulbella put in my mostly my upper lip just a half syringe over a year ago and I kept thinking I would need to go back like six months later or nine months later or 12 months later and I still feel like they look really good it's given me that fullness right in the center where I wanted a little more fullness um, I went with the least amount and it is Volbella and it's very kind of like a hydrating filler and it is known to last a long time. And where I live in the Chicago suburbs, I paid $3.60 for the half syringe and she divided it mostly equally on my top lip in the two parts. And then there was a teeny bit left, just a teeny bit. So she put a couple drops in the bottom lip. My bottom lip was naturally considerably larger than my top lip, so it didn't really need any. And so there was a promotion with Juvederm over the past couple of months where you get $75 off and it expires on the 8th. So I thought I would go now and just get my filler touched up and I will be good for over another year. So in the big picture, that brings it down to like two something. It really is not a huge expense, but I did bruise a lot last time I got it. I did film it. So I will link that in the description box if you wanna see that video and I bruised a lot. So I've been taking Arnica Montana tablets under my tongue for like the past 48 hours, hoping that will help, but we'll see if I bruise a ton. <laughs> this might be the last time you see me for about a good week. So I'm gonna go do that today. I'll keep you updated. Um, I hope you all have a blessed and beautiful day. Say hello down in the comments. I love to know who's watching and I'll see you next time.